Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, RV extraordinaire, coming from Beckley's Canvas Center to show you the Helio. Now, this is a Canadian-made teardrop you're gonna be quite impressed with, and I have Jean-Francois, we're just gonna call him Jeff, so we don't mess it up. He's French-Canadian. He's gonna be able to tell us everything about this Helio, so stay tuned, and make sure you go ahead and turn the volume up and listen closely, because he does have an accent. Jeff, go ahead and say hello to everybody. Hello, everybody. There we go. So we're gonna go ahead and start. Let's get on to the nuts and bolts of this camper. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so we're gonna go ahead and start with uh, Jeff explaining the construction of these. It's pretty in, um, incredible how these things are built. Now, one thing that people do say when they've looked at these is it's pretty dark in here because there's not a lot of windows. You're gonna have a window on left and right for, for ventilation plus a power vent fan, which we'll get into. But there's a reason why they make this trailer the way they do. And I'm gonna let Jeff explain it to you. Go ahead, Jeff. Thank you. Yeah, the things that we do, we fix all the issue that you can have from a travel trailer. So it's a fully molded unit. Yeah, we don't have big window on the back or on the front because we don't want water leaking inside your trailer. Because in Canada, we got different weather than here. So we got a lot of salt, a lot of sand on the road, and a lot of ice and snow in winter time. So we always get water infiltration inside the trailer. So we fix everything. It's a fully molded trailer. So it's all fiberglass. You don't have uh, wood uh, inside the trailer. You don't have skeleton in the structure. It's do like a boat shell. So you got gel coat for the color. Uh, it's infused. So the color is not going to change in time. You got the foam. So it's a denser foam. It's a really strong foam. So the structure it's 10 times stronger than a typical trailer. So this is for the structure and with the floor. One thing on this though, I want to explain that this stuff is put together, they vacuum on this. Now they're not using the regular glues that are used in the, industry, the RV industry. They're using a resin as far as the adhesion, which is uh, much stronger and it's going to last a heck of a lot longer. So that's it. In, in all of the different areas they're sealing here, they're using a resin instead of using uh, your silicones and glues. And for the floor, we have a floor all wrapped with fiberglass. So it's a six ply wood, a three quarter of inch, and we put fiberglass everywhere so you cannot rotten with time cannot have moist on your floor so no maintenance to do in 10 years the floor is going to look the same so it's going to stop to having for those of you that may have had rvs in the past where you had a soft floor less chance of that happening so let's get on the outside do a little walk around on the outside then we'll come back inside I'm gonna explain you all the trailers. So for the frame, it's aluminum frame. We got electric brakes. Uh, we got the safety brakes here on front, and we got the battery and the gas tank outside. So we got a cover to be sure everything is well protected. So we got the 20 pounds propane tank. We got the deep charge battery on front, and as you see, it's all aluminum. So no rust, no problem with the frame with Helio. So when you open the cover of the propane tank, the gas tank, you just need to lift up, you turn it, and you open. And what, what's, what's the importance of turning that? Because you can scratch the protection here, and you get a small rubber, so if you do that, you can uh, screw the rubber, so it's really important to turn around, and after that, you put it back. It's really strong. Okay, so Jeff, this is the off-door side. What do we have over here? Here, so as you see, everything it's overlap. So three, two inch here for the wall. Same thing with the roof. It's fixed with epoxy. So no maintenance to do, no silicone joint to do. So no water infiltration is possible. We got water channel to be sure that the water stay far as possible off your joint. We got the vent for the great, uh, great and dark tank. So we got. 10 gallon of gray water, 10 gallon of dark water on front of the trailer. Okay, so, and, and, and for those of you that, so the, the dark is being the black tank. <laughs> so this is the vent for the, the gray and the black tank. So that way there it helps it when you're, uh, when you're emptying it, makes it easier for it to empty and so forth. Exactly. 
So you get here, you can flush both of the tank. So as you see, it's aluminum frame. You see it everywhere. And same thing with the floor that we show you before. It's all wrapped with fiberglass. If we go with the axle, the axle, it's a 2000 pound axle. It's a flexi ride. So it's independent ride, but you can change the height of your trailer if you want. So you can go two inch more higher or two inch lower. So to fit where with your car or fit in a garage or in a carport. So with the trailer, the water pump, all the LED light inside, the max fan runs with the battery. We don't put the AC on the roof because we don't want issue for that. For, so we put a portable AC inside the trailer. So this is the vent for the portable AC. So the advantage is you can remove the AC and use it at home. So you save money. You don't need an AC at home and an AC in your RV. You use the same. This is the uh, vent for the fridge right there. We got the 30 amp connection for the electricity. Solar panel connection. Now, question for you here. So, yep. on the air conditioner unit that you're putting in here, yep. that's more of a uh, kind of a window type AC, is that correct? No, nope, it's not a window type. It's really a portable one on wheels. Okay. So, you can have units that they cool or they heat. So, you can use that one in that trailer if you want, if you don't want the furnace. What type of amperage are those typically pulling? Uh, it's, I think it's uh, 10 amp. About 10 amp? Yeah. So, even though we have a 30 amp uh, connection here, for those of you that may be visiting, may maybe see a relative, um, or maybe you're, you know, you're going somewhere where they maybe don't have 30 amp, if you're able to plug into what we call a, a 20 amp or a 15 amp outlet, meaning something that looks like this, then you're able to use yes. your a air conditioner um, and that way there it just makes it a lot easier for you exactly and here we got the water heater it's six gallon so it's a manual one so you just need to uh, start up with a lighter or matches but when you buy your trailer we give you a usb key you get all the video in french and in english so how to start your water heater how to start the fridge everything it's well explained with your usb key we also have here your water hose that you uh, just plug right there and you can add water by yourself if you want just so here. the fresh water tank fills yeah. there exactly. and that's 15 gallons 15 gallon yeah of fresh water and then 10 gallons for the gray 10 gallons and for the black for the black water and then back below th there what is that there it's the storage for your hose for the, the hose? black tank yeah exactly okay. so it's the storage so you just put your hose right there and then on the back as you can see you're going to have two stabilizers yeah to help you stabilize it yeah and it's really easy because the trailer it's 1500 pounds so it's really light we can move it by hand if you want so people there's not really great to back up with the car or the truck with the trailer you can do it by hand because on the tongue it's uh, the weight it's 110 pounds so pretty light so the LED light it's fully molded too so no maintenance to do there's no danger the water go back of the light or inside the light we get a seam here because we got two panels for the roof it's all fixed with epoxy too so you, there's no danger that uh, they're gonna have water from there and if you look at the max fan the way we do our wall it's one inch more higher than the roof of the trailer so you're sure that no water is going to come by the max fan so we got storage on the side, we got access from the inside, so you just need to remove the cushion. Is that the cushion for? The cushion? Mm -hmm. Cushion, yeah. So you remove the cushion, so as you see, you just need to push. So if you put a small barbecue or whatever you need, you get access from the inside and you see the fiberglass floor. That unit got a furnace. It's a 12,000 BTU furnace. Uh, they work with gas and the uh, fan runs with the battery. We got electric connection here. You get your light that you can open and close from the outside. There's some trailer, it's from the inside. And when we open the door, 
So we're going to take a look inside of the trailer. So we got a small hook we put here. We got a screen door. And I know that some other trailer, it's a sliding screen door, but when a kid or a dog run into the door, it's hard to fix. That one, it's pretty easy. Everywhere that you go, they have the, the piece to fix your door if you got a problem. It's easy to open. Well, the other thing too is that they make, they make stream protectors that you can put in this area here. So if you do have a small dog or whatever, you can protect that screen. Yes. So. So our cabinetry, it's uh, cardboard inside, honeycomb cardboard. And we put stratified wood, so it's pretty light but pretty strong with all the aluminum track that you see. And we put silicone, so it's glued together, pretty strong. Every but push button came from the airplane industries. So if you drive 5,000 miles or 10,000 miles per year with your trailer, everything gonna still open, same thing with here so it's real cabinetry that's the difference in the other teardrop that it's more stronger so this is you're saying this cabinetry the way you've designed this after the airline industry yep. the way that they um, make their cabinetry yep okay for our bathroom it's fully molded bathroom so it's a one piece so you get your bathroom you get your shower so you don't have joint to do uh, the the base is thicker, you got a foam under the shower so it cannot crack with time. So no maintenance to do, so pretty easy to keep it clean. So I'm gonna show you the LED light. So you get a dimmer or you can close it. So at night if someone just want to read the books, so you got two in intensity. Uh, for the the, the ceiling, it's uh, like in your car, a car liner, so it's really soft. So if someone is tall, knock his head, you're sure you're okay. We got a small sink and we got a counter, so where you can cook. So you don't need to use a table on front to uh, prepare your food. You can do everything here on the front and look at all the cabinetry. You got a lot of storage. The trailer is small, but it, we think about everything when we design the trailer. So another storage, you see all the plumbing stuff. So same that the, you use at your house. We got a small microwave there. I don't know if we, maybe we're gonna film it after. We got the Dominic stove, so two burners and you can put your spices right there if you want. Uh, I don't explain it uh, earlier, but it's antibacterial stuff. So if you got some problem to breathe or whatever, really easy to clean and it's antibacterial, so no problem. So as Jeff had mentioned, the microwave is just as you come inside the door here. You so see? you can make popcorns or whatever that you want. Just like a typical microwave. Exactly. So next what we have is we have the RV style refrigerator that you're gonna see typically in your smaller RVs. Go ahead and let's show yeah. them this one here. So you get the cooler on the top. It's a uh, three feet. Three cubic foot. Exactly. RV fridge. So this is both, uh, it's an automatic fridge so you're gonna be able to work it on, on 110 or on propane. Okay, so under the fridge we have some drawers and we have uh, space for the AC. Let's talk exactly. about those. So this is where we put the port portable AC. So you remove the door or the dealer can make it for you if you want. You got a strap just to be sure the AC don't came out. You got your drain on the floor and it's protect with uh, plastic. You got the vent and you got the electric connection on the, the back of the storage. Or if you don't need AC, you just have more storage. And same thing over here. So there's a lot, it's a small trailer, but there's a lot of storage inside. All right, so let's talk about this dinette, because yep. now you, you were talking about when you're, when you're um, towing this down the road, you do not want to leave the table in the up position because it'll get too tight. Exactly. You're not able to remove it. So when you're driving, you just put down the table. It's pretty easy. You just have a button right here. You turn around. You got another push button on the back, you unscrew, 
table post. That's it. You can leave it right leave there, it. or you can put it right up underneath. Show them how we yep, get it. Exactly. That storage right there. So, or you put it in your storage under the trailer. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna have Jeff show you. It's imperative that when you make this thing a bed that these cushions to the left and right are put in place properly because they have stoppers in place and if they're put in backwards, the cushions will not fit. So show us what we're talking about here. Yeah, so, and you're gonna see the furnies. So right there and another exit is to the storage. But this is the top stopper that they always need to be inside the trigger, not outside to uh, just retain the, the cushion. So you just put it back so it's strong, cannot slide. And then when that when the table's going down in place, you will notice that things are, it's cut out. Yeah. So it makes it very easy for you to put it in there. And the backs of the cushion, show them the back of the yep. cushion, knock it's on that. strong. So it's made, because you're gonna see when this, when this table goes in place, it's round, it's not square. Exactly. So let's show them how this works. So you just put back your table, put back the cushion. And that's it, it's a queen size bed. So people of six feet, two inch can sleep in the bed. So that's how easy it is. Now we talked about the uh, windows. So what you're gonna have is you have windows on the other side, that's your escape window. But again, for ventilation, and then on this side, Another window, can you show them how that works? Yep. Pretty simple. And you push, and it's an exit too, so you get two. So okay. you can exit by the two window if you want. After that you push, you press, and you lock that's the it. window. That's it, that's all. So on this wall here, what you're gonna notice, you have a place where you can hang some clothes. And then of course, that's your furnace control up top there. And then above the refrigerator, that's where you're going to have your levels. Exactly. So black water, gray water, fresh water, the battery condition, and you got your water pump right there. So that's all right there above the refrigerator. Okay, so now we're going to talk about this power vent fan. The good thing with this is that you can pull the air in, or you can be pulling the air, circulating the air, meaning opening your windows and having the air circulate through. And I'm going to have Jeff show you how that works. Yeah. So when you're cooking, what you want to do, or when you take your shower, you got the vent here for humidity, you want to pull the air out. So you just open your fan and you just look at, so now what she do, she put the air out. So you can just increase the speed of the fan and the fan runs with the battery. So you don't need to have electricity connection and you can use your fan. So we can, the air in and we got a uh, old uh, set system so still at uh, 78 degrees so if it came too hot inside the trailer the fan gonna start automatically so there you have it ladies and gentlemen the 2019 helio this is the model is the helio 2 yeah exactly for so, two people sleeping right so they, and they have a, they have a helio 3 for three people and they have a helio 4 now stay tuned to my uh, channel because I'll be demonstrating those um, and showing you what they look at. We do have a Helio 3 in stock as well as the the other Helio, the small one. Yeah, the HE. The HE, which is more like a MyPod, uh, which we're going to go over as well. So stay tuned to my channel. And remember one thing, if you call, if you email, if you stop by Beckley's Camping Center, you ask for the Air Force guy, do appreciate you watching and stay tuned. Got lots of things coming down the pike. I've got an e-book e that will be coming out within the next month. So a lot of uh, exciting things happening. And uh, appreciate Jeff showing up here today. First video, so you got to give him, give him a thumbs up. Uh, first time ever to be on a video here, so but we'll have more coming down the pike. So thanks for watching, and we'll be coming back at you again soon. Take care. Take care.